Hi and welcome to another Watch Geek video. Today we're taking a look at the new GAB2100, a more advanced solar powered version of the most popular G-Shock release in the last decade. The regular GA2100 was a smashing hit when it came out and was probably the only Casio that sold over retail on the used market, before Casio upped the production numbers to meet the demand. After that release and that success, I knew it was only a matter of time before Casio started expanding the 2100 line, first with metal bezel models and now with this, a solar powered and Bluetooth equipped GAB. The success is very easy to explain. The watch looked as minimalistic as a G-Shock can be, with loads of little details tying it back to the original DW5000 from the 80s, and the analog display made it more serious, not to mention it resembled a very famous watch, which gave it its nickname. It looked and felt like a G-Shock for grown-ups. The fact that it is also one of the thinnest and smallest G-Shocks ever made it wear incredibly comfortable and elegant on pretty much any size wrist. This version is exactly the same as the regular one, but you got the two additional features I mentioned. Solar power means you will never have to change the battery as long as you don't store the watch in complete darkness for long periods of time while the Bluetooth connectivity doesn't turn it this into a smartwatch, but rather replaces the radio-controlled function of older solar atomics. Since everyone owns a phone these days, Casio figured having Bluetooth is more practical than having radio-controlled timekeeping, as you will always have accurate time regardless of living within the range of the six available towers. It also means people on the southern hemisphere can enjoy ultra-accurate timekeeping as well something that was impossible with the regular atomic models. The best thing about it is that you don't have to use the Bluetooth if you don't want to. You still have the option of adjusting and operating pretty much everything on the watch itself. So even if you never want to connect it to your phone, you still get a better watch than the regular 2100 simply because of the self-charging feature. When it comes to functions, only the countdown timer is somewhat underwhelming being only a 60 minute one, without any repeat or interval options, while the rest include a 24 hour stopwatch that measures down to 1 100th of a second for the first hour and then down to a second for the rest of the time, 5 alarms and a world time function with easy home time swap ability which makes it perfect for frequent travelers. The reason I still don't own any of the 2100 line of watches is nighttime visibility. The backlight is okay, but nothing special, while the loom, as usual, is only found on the hands in any usable amount. When Casio releases one with fully loomed markers in hands, I will gladly add one to my collection. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe, and until the next video, Bye.